Welcome to the last show of the semester. The Drover basketball season is well underway and the Drover soccer teams represented the university and the conference in the national tournament. It was a great semester to be a Drover. Assistant Coach Alexis Vizzarelli is on the show Take to talk about the Drovers and the national forever. tournament. Come this on. is in the saddle. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's get ready to rumble! Welcome to the show. Both our Drover soccer teams made us proud on the national stage, and we have assistant coach Alexa Vizzarelli on the show to talk a little bit about the seasons. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to be here. So we had great seasons out of both the teams. Um, both teams broke the school record for most wins in a season, and both came out with SAC championships. So. Yeah, I mean, unbelievable. I mean, if you asked me at the start of the year if we'd have a season that we did, I'd probably, you know, it'd be hard pushed to say we, we would have one. but. I mean, you've got to give credit to all the players, um, Coach Hampton and his coaching staff as well. Um, I think that they showed what we're capable of, what we demand of them each year. Um, this year they actually showed that they can do it, um, and we're very, very proud of them. Well, good. Um, let's talk about the women first. They um, won the SAC quarterfinals, and they had to go on the road to top 25 um, Southern Nazarene and Oklahoma City and ended up shutting out both teams to win the SAC Finals. So tell me about those games. Yeah, I mean, we we came into the playoffs and, and it was what we wanted. We knew that on our day we could play with anyone in the conference. So we had the, I guess, the courage uh, and the confidence in the playoffs to know one game, winner takes all, is going to be good for us. So it was very hard going to SNU because they have such a potent attack in um, well, their forwards are very, very good and they're a very, very good side. And going on the road is always going to be tough, but the girls were absolutely unbelievable on the day. The backs were very, very solid, did w exactly what we asked of them. And then, of course, Cooper got a goal early, which uh, helped us and gave us something to defend. And the girls were brilliant on the day. And it actually worked out very well for us because we had a feeling that because it was be between OCU and SNU for the regular season and OCU won it, if we could get to the final against OCU, we'd already have a national berth. And um, going into that final, there's absolutely zero pressure on us and the girls can just come out and perform. So going into the OCU game, we knew we could just enjoy the day. Um, but I think deep down, the girls had a point to prove and wanted to finish uh, the season uh, as a conference champion and went to OCU after the SNU result. And again, absolutely fantastic on the day, defended superbly throughout the game. and took their chances and actually the OCU coaching staff came over to us at the end of the day and said congratulations you guys were very good and, and deserved it on the day so that was nice uh, nice to hear that from a, a great coach like Coach Harvey. Well great and then they got their first um, invite to the national tournament they got to go to San Diego to take on Point Loma Nazarene who I believe was fourth seed in the tournament so tell me you got to travel with them right tell me about that yeah it, it's funny the toughest decision me and coach Hampton had all year was figuring out who was going to go with which team and again we knew it was going to be a good problem to have we we, we were so superstitious um, that we we didn't really talk about it till it was actually finally done we never talked about it the week leading up even though we had a chance because we didn't want to you know hex anything um, so I, I think we had a, a day a day of going back and forth with the coaches who should go there and we were we were asking you know other people and to kind of polling people on that and at the end of the day you know we made a, a decision based on what we thought was best in the school and, and we knew it was wasn't going to be easy um, you know I was going to miss the boys and Coach Hampton certainly was going to miss the girls but we um, we decided that I would go with the girls and Coach go with the boys and. I think for me, it showed Coach Hampton had a lot of faith in me as a coach, you know, taking the girls away for their first game in Nationals to, a, uh, to San Diego shows that he really 
has a lot of faith in me as a coach, so it meant a lot to me for him to be able to do that for me, and it was a great experience for me. Uh, the whole trip and going down there and and, and uh, playing a good side in Point Loma. They were very good, um, and the girls just just played their hearts out, played the entire 90 minutes, and just just made us really proud. Yeah, it was tough. I mean, again, we lost Kelly Cooper to an injury early on in the game, and she's such an offensive threat for us. It was hard, to, you know, for us. We were a little bit shocked, and it took us a while to get back into the game. Um, we finally did, and we caused them all sorts of problems um, for that little period in the second half. I look looking back on the game now, you know, is there things you'd like to change as a coach? Yeah, absolutely. So that's something that I would take take with me and further into my career. But cannot fault the girls, girls, girls at all. They worked so hard out there. A um, little bit unlucky, probably conceding that second goal right before the half um, on a set piece was was very hard to come back from. But the girls never gave up and. I was very proud of their efforts and how, the, how hard they worked during the whole season. And then the guys, they um, won the regular season sack title early, you know, about a week or so before the, the season ended, and then went on to win, win the championship, another, I think it's maybe the seventh or so, um, conference champion, championship for the men. Um, and they got to go play Missouri Valley in the opening round of the national That's tournament. Right. Yeah, and it was a little bit different than the women because the, the men actually were not guaranteed a national berth through winning the regular season, so we still had a lot of pressure on us. We wanted to win the regular season so so bad because we knew that we're pretty difficult to beat here at the Drover Dome, so uh, um, we wanted to be at home throughout the playoffs, and that was big for us. Um, and the, the men were absolutely superb, won the uh, uh, conference playoffs and then went to, like you said, Missouri Valley, and from all accounts, probably put together their best performance of the season against a very, very good school. A very good soccer school, played a lot of football and, and the boys had to defend hard at times and caught them on the break and actually played a lot, a lot harder in the second half and actually took the game to, to the other team. So um, it was a great, great result for them and they got back to Orange Beach, which was great. Yep, second year in a row and then they uh, had to play Asusa Pacific, who was also, um, I think, eight or ninth seed. And then um, winning that game took them to the quarterfinals for the second year in a row against uh, defending national champions uh, Hastings, who ended up going on to be the runners-up this year. I'm really proud of the group, and it's difficult today for the boys, but again, this senior class will look back one year, six months, three years from now, and, and just really be proud of, of what they accomplished as, as we as a coaching staff are of them, and, and, and they've left a, a, a legacy to follow. Uh, and, and, you know, we hope we can live up to what the standards they set. We knew a little bit about Azusa Pacific because they had played OBU in a regular season and obviously we know um, Coach Coates down at OBU very well and we spoke to them a little bit about how they played and what they'd done and he gave us a lot of confidence because he thought we definitely matched up well against them. Um, so coming into that game, we, we had a lot, of, a lot of confidence going in. We knew it would be tough, but um, we were f fantastic in the first half, uh, probably a little bit disappointed only to be 2-0 up and again we told the boys remember last year because we'd gone 2-0 up uh, last year and uh, the, the team had come back on us so we were we, we prepped the boys and they were brilliant throughout the game um, we gave up a goal late which we were disappointed about but we thought we was always in control of that game and then coming up against Hastings you know, I think the hardest thing was we had to play the very next day where Hastings had obviously had 24 hours um, to rest and get ready. And, and that's big in a national tournament. I mean, you, you really don't realise how much, how important rest is for these boys and, and the level they're playing and the intensity they've got to play. In. And first half, um, boys were fantastic. I thought we matched them well and we could have had chances and they could have had chances. It was a great game. It's what you expect at that level. Um, we uh, opened the second half well, probably guilty of missing a, a good chance to go maybe 1-0 up um, and they went down the other end and scored and it's, it's little things in a game that decide it and, and, and that was probably one of them, you know, but it happens, it's soccer and, and our boys will learn from it. I thought, I take my hat off to Hastings, I thought they were absolutely fantastic in the, on, on the day, very powerful, very quick, very skillful side um, and uh, I'd probably say deserved to win on the day. But uh, we'll learn from it, um, we keep getting better and, and for us, we want nationals to be an every year thing. It's, it's not, you know, we, we made it two years in a row, we'll be 
already looking ahead and trying to get better there next year. Well, definitely, no doubt, uh, great seasons out of both the teams. And we've got some really strong seniors um, that we're losing from both teams as well. Do you want to talk about them? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, on, on the girls' side, I, I think it, it's, it's very strange. I think that the seniors mirror each other um, on both the, the men's and women's teams. I mean, you're, you're going to lose a lot of leadership. Um, things that people probably take for granted. The seniors did a lot of things on and off the field through their quality in the classroom, the standards they set for themselves and asked other kids to follow through their work ethic on the field. Um, and and you're, you're losing two great classes. And I, I remember Coach Hampton's um, quote after Nationals, both times he spoke to both teams, he said how, how proud he was and how he's a, a, a better person for knowing these kids. And I would, I would second that. I think these kids made me a better coach and a better person. They're, they're great kids to be around. They're kids that, you know, I'll always have a, a friendship with. And um, it's sad to see them go. But I look forward to hearing about what they're doing in their life because they're all winners um, and they're, they're all going to do really well. So that's an exciting part of it. Well, thank you, Coach. Thanks for being on the show. And congratulations for a great season. It's always a pleasure. Now it's time for Fan of the Week. Each week we pick a Fan of the Week who wins an awesome t-shirt and is recognized on our show and on Facebook. Our last Fan of the Week was Kyle Morales. Congratulations, Kyle. This week's Fan of the Week, soccer star Callie Cooper. Congratulations, Callie. Coach Hampton and nine Drover athletes were named All-Conference and seven athletes were named Dactronics NAIA Scholar Athletes. So congratulations to all of them. And congratulations to all of our Fall 2011 graduates, especially Andy Morphew who has helped us out on numerous shows. Happy Holidays and remember Santa, I've been good. See you guys next time on In the Saddle.